Hello everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. Well, I just left the parish office, and right now it is uh, almost 520, 25 or something like that, and it is dark. How did that happen so quickly? Uh, wasn't it like getting dark at like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock? Yeah, I think winter is hit. Well, as I was walking out of the office, of course, my head turns towards the amazing traffic in front of Walker Road, just bumper to bumper. Then I hear a horn, someone honking at somebody. I'm like, ah, and I had this flashback. And not a, not a pleasant one. And it was just from Monday. Monday, I almost, well, who knows? I could have checked out of this world. I was on my way to see my sisters uh, in Dallas. They were all gathering together, and uh, not all of them, but a good chunk of them were gathering together and just having a, a you know, family time. And I said I'd be there probably around 6 o'clock. I was figuring uh, I would leave here at the right time to get there, knowing that 217 is really going to be backed up. So I'm going to go the, the scenic route. That's what I told myself. And that probably was the first of many errors. <laughs> I can laugh about it now. Anyhow, so moving on. So I decide that's what I'm going to do. So I make sure that that's the direction that I allow my GPS to tell me. So I go down Murray Road, and then I start taking a right turn after, oh gosh, what's that? I can't remember the street, uh, but after the main highway there. And I start kind of going into the sticks, heading towards McMinnville, kind of zigzagging around, going over a mountain top, et cetera. And I think I know where I'm going, but it's now getting dark. It was beautiful, but now it's getting dark. In fact, it gets so dark that uh, I'm just following my GPS and making sure I'm making the right and the left turns that I need to do. It was the Trappist Abbey in Lafayette. That's right. So I got to the little town of Lafayette and I forget the name of the basic, I think it's not 99, but I don't know, the, the, the main road that goes through Lafayette. I think it's 99. Anyhow, and my GPS needs me, it tells me to take a left turn. So I get to the intersection for that. And there is just car after car after car. And like Walker Road, which is, in this case, just packed and going nowhere, at least in front of the church. Here, it was going somewhere, back and forth, left and right, and there was no gaps whatsoever. And I'm trying to get out into the intersection so I can at least take a left turn, which, of course, it's the dangerous, most dangerous turn because some cars to my right are turning left to the road I'm in. And again, it's dark, and it's rainy, and that's the other part. It's rainy. It's rainy so that I can't see the lines where they are because they're not reflecting from the headlights very well. I eventually was able to make that left turn and get on the freeway or the highway there, and I'm good. Okay, oh, great. But now my GPS is telling me I need to turn around. Somehow I was supposed to make a right turn immediately, and somehow I didn't see that. Now I have to make a left turn and turn all back around on 99 because I was not heading towards McMinnville. I was heading away. And so I'm now I'm clearly disoriented. I, I was able to find a little ability to make a left turn uh, into uh, through traffic and just stop and pause and just regather myself. I'm like, where am I? Where am I going? I thought I was going the right way, but I was not. I wasn't where I thought I was, or at least I did not put the map together correctly. So then I follow the GPS, and from then on, it seems to be going great. I get onto the highway near McMinnville, scoot around it, and get all the way to Highway 22, which is intersection where I need to go then to the right off of uh, the road I was on. Again, I think that was 99 to Highway 22 so I can get to Dallas where my sisters are. And this is where, I know I should be trusting my intuition. I should just gone straight. I know the way to get to Dallas, but now I'm on Highway 22 and I'm going to be making a left on a highway. I'm thinking, oh great, there's people in front of me, people in front of me, in front of me and behind me, and I'm going to be slowing down traffic and this could be ugly. Well, Luckily, there was a turn lane where I needed to go. So I'm about to make a left. And I can't see where the road is to actually turn left. But luckily, there was a car coming out from my left, getting on the freeway, going the other way. I'm like, oh, okay, then I just, when they turn, that will give me the sense. I'll turn to the, on the other side of them, and that will be the correct lane I'm in to go to Dallas. Except for the fact that I know now I'm on gravel. Whoa, this isn't it. Okay, well, not a problem. I can see now ahead of me. I should have gone a little further before I made my left turn. I'm in the wrong, I'm on the exit, not an entrance. And it comes very clear to me that that is the case because a truck is coming right at me as I turn to my left. And luckily, they were slowing down. They could have T-boned me, and that would have, that would have been it. I would have bought the farm. And I didn't have a where, the wherewithal to gun it because 
well, a Toyota, a Toyota. If you gun your the accelerator in your Toyota, it's not going to respond because of, I think, safety. So you have to always do it gently. In this case, one of the negative things I think of Toyotas, and I love Toyotas, is that the accelerator does not respond immediately for safety reasons. In this case, I needed it to for safety reason. And thank God the other person was able to break. And I was able to get around them and I just felt bad. Now my heart's pumping and I'm just like, oh, one treacherous moment after another and it was dark and rainy. And, and now I can actually personally say why I know some of our seniors do not want to go anywhere at night. That if we have things at night, some gatherings, some people just don't want to do that because they can't see well. And while I have good vision, yes, I have trifocals, but I have them and I can see, um, it was still dangerous. It was darker because there was clouds. It was even darker because it was raining and it was darker because the rain allowed, or made it more difficult to see the lanes on the road. Because the, in fact, if there were any reflectors, they were submerged and they were not reflecting anything. Okay, what's, that's my story. And what do we do with this? Well, trust your instincts. Sometimes it's not always best to just deviate off, deviate off a road and think you're just going to go the way you want to go. I think sometimes we do that in life. Sometimes we call that sin. And we, we do whatever we want. Meanwhile, there's a, there's a highway we could have taken. And it would have been simple, and you know the highway. God has given us the way. He is the way. But no, we have to choose our way. <laughs> and our way, well, it might get us there, but only by God's grace. And I know for certain that was just God's grace for me that I made it there. My, when I did arrive in Dallas, I, you can tell when people are worried because as I was pulling into the driveway, one of my sisters was just standing at the window looking out there waiting and wondering. And so what was supposed to be an hour and eight minutes was two hour and 20 minutes. And I guess I, I understand why they were worried. Though I did, I did text them saying I'd be a little late but see, I also have my, an iPhone, and normally they can track me on what's called my, or uh, what is it, uh, Find My is the app. In other words, we're friends, and they can see my, my car, or wherever I have my iPhone, wherever I happen to be. Well, in this case, because I was out in the sticks going my own way, they could not see me for a good chunk of that time. So they were worried. So, and I was exhausted when I get there, and frazzled, and yeah, and that's what sin does to me, and that's what sin does everybody. I'm not saying my driving was necessarily sin, but uh, there may have been moments where I may have thought bad thoughts. <laughs> but just morally, when we decide not to follow God's guidance in our lives, morally and ethically, it just goes bad. And I want to encourage all of us. Seek the Lord where he may be found. That's in the scriptures, in your heart, in your prayer, at Mass. Uh, a good person that gives counsel to you, a holy person, and know that they're here for your good. And we need to listen to that stuff. We need to listen to them and be mindful of our egos. Be mindful of, I'm going to go my way and just listen. Thank God I made it there. Wisdom told me, and I did this, I decided to go the normal routes that I went, that I usually do, going home. And, well, of course, it was now around 9 o'clock, so the traffic wasn't bad. But it was all familiar. I knew where it was. There was no issues, really, on the highway because the lines are clear. And there's, there's enough cars to know where they all, the lines are. So take that for what it is. That's my Friday reflection. I'm glad to be here. <sighs> and uh, just watch out for those drivers. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.